Brian Keeler here. Welcome to my studio in Ithaca, New York, the uh, North Star Art Gallery. And I'm uh, in the final stages of doing this painting of um, uh, Monhegan Island in, in Maine. And it's uh, captured on a morning in um, late October, last day of October of, uh, of a couple years ago when I was doing some plein air painting there. And right now I'm just uh, doing some final touches here. And what I'm doing here right now is just uh, lightening the sky uh, to um, bring up some of the uh, atmospheric effects and uh, leaving my brushwork to show through here somewhat. And just as you joined me here, I was doing this work on the ocean here um, to uh, bring out this. There's a distant, uh, oh, this is the mainland over here, so I was uh, exaggerating this. Uh, value to bring out that uh, that uh, the land over here um, I have s the uh, fishermen there or the main thing I guess they're lobstermen actually and um, this is a good opportunity for me to explain this idea of, uh, of fictive space it's a word that I've uh, applied here to uh, the illusion of space and it's something that the Renaissance painters did a lot but um, I'm using it in a way that I haven't really seen other painters do. I'm um, using it to um, develop a sense of composition within the illusion of space. When we think of uh, design, we usually think of uh, the flat design of how things relate uh, regardless of what you're depicting. Uh, there's a famous uh, saying that uh, before a painting is a uh, depiction of a, a war horse or, or any other object, before it's that, it's a, a an arrangement and uh, that's the idea of flat space but this idea of uh, fictive space is uh, uh, you can come in here uh, closer now this idea of uh, creating a composition within the illusion of space and how things are relating so I have these two fishermen in the foreground and then another two fishermen back in as the uh, perspective leads back and then uh, further uh, the boats and then leading back into a very deep space of the uh, of the distant um, uh, land that's um, Port Clyde in the, the distance, the, uh, and the boat comes out from there. And then, so the whole, um, one of my main things in composition is intervals and, uh, and uh, getting a sense of rhythm. So my conception, the way that I'm thinking of this is entering through here, kind of going back through here, then it becomes a whole cloudscape and sort of the clouds kind of leading around, back, up and around, and then maybe back down in again, but uh, leading back into space. And then this uh, idea of composition within the, um, the depiction or the illusion of space. Um, what else can I uh, do here in the last uh, section? Uh, maybe um, I'll just build up some, uh, some highlights here. That's usually the way that I work. Uh, Often these, these paintings uh, start off very generally and then they go to more specific as I proceed. It's the general idea. So they start off very broadly and that's the most creative and, um, and the most uh, uh, conceptual part of the painting is in the early stages. Then it gets progressively more detailed. So if you uh, come in here, walk in here, we're going to focus on these um, fishermen here just for the last... Uh, Maybe if you come over here to my palette just for a minute, I'm gonna mix up a very uh, light yellow just with white and this uh, lemon yellow, cadmium yellow light here. And then um, bring this over to the uh, fisherman's um, uh, garments here. They're uh, sort of like raincoats and rain pants to keep them dry. It's a very uh, defined uh, light quality here with this striking, uh, raking uh, light here. Very simplified uh, figure ground contrast. So I'm just uh, building up the lights. And the, um, the highest mo uh, notes of chroma in this painting are these uh, yellows and golds. And the rest is sort of neutral blues and grays and, uh, and subdued colors. So 
So it's the idea of, of modeling, kind of making the uh, the roundness of the uh, the forms come out here. Maybe. Okay, I have a little bit more work to do with this island across here. It's, um, I think it's called Manana Island, oddly enough. And uh, it's directly across from the, uh, the main uh, seaport there on the Monhegan. Uh, Monhegan is a, a wonderful island. It has a long history of uh, artistic uh, endeavors. Uh, many famous painters have gone there. Robert Henry, uh, Wyeths, um, I think George Lukes, and uh, Rockwell Kent. Uh, uh, many painters and even today there's uh, dozens of painters that go there it's a uh, it's very inspiring and also for me personally it has a, a nice connection to this uh, island on the other side of the Atlantic the Aran Islands this is sort of the, the easternmost part on the American side and then the Aran Islands off the coast of County Clare where I painted two uh, sort of the, the two uh, uh, points uh, on each uh, continent so there's some kind of connection there <laughs> between the two. So uh, this is my painting of uh, Monhegan Island uh, off the coast of Maine, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, installment. Thanks so much.